Hey everyone, welcome back to Easy Coding. In this video, we are going to discuss most frequently asked Java programming question, which is explain public static void main, that is nothing, our main method. So explain main method in detail. So let us see how we can explain this question in interview. So here you can see public static void main string arguments. So public is access modifier, static is keyword and void is a return type and main is the method name and string is the data type and arguments that is a array of string type. So let us see how we can explain each term in detail. So public, it is an access modifier which specifies from where and who can access the method. So it is an access modifier which specifies from where and who can access the method. Making the main method public makes it globally available. It is made public so that JVM can invoke it from outside the class. So as we all know, we have four access modifiers, which is private, default, protected and public. So public means it will be available everywhere. So the access modifier public will be available everywhere, including within the class, outside the class and outside the package. So it will be available in the NA project. So that is the concept of public access modifier. So you have to explain each term in detail. So you can explain what is public and what is the scope of it. And we have other modifiers as well. That is private, default and protected. So private means uh, that will be available only within the class. And it cannot be accessed from the outside class. And the next one is the default one. So default modifier is only within the package and it cannot be accessed from the outside the package. And if you do not specify any access level, it will be the default one. And the next one is the protected. So the access level of protected modifier is within the package and outside the package through child class. If you are not creating any child class, it will not be available outside the package. So this is all about public access modifier. So let us move to the next step that is static. So static is the keyword which is when associated with a method makes it a class related method. So static is a class related method. We can make a method as static, a variable as static and a class as a static. So if you are making a variable as a static, it will be class variable. So the Java main method is static so that JVM can invoke it without instantiating the class. So we can access that corresponding method without instantiating the class, which means we do not have to create an object for that. So we can easily access by using the static uh, keyword. So this is the also says the unnecessary wastage of memory, which would have been used by the object declared only for calling the main method by the JVM. So if you are using static, we do not have to declare any object to call that method. So that is the advantage of static. Now let us move on to the next term that is void. So void it is a keyword and used to specify that a method doesn't return anything. So void means it will not return anything. As main method doesn't return anything, its return type is void. As soon as the main method terminates, the Java program terminates too. Hence, it doesn't make any sense to return from main method as JVM can't do anything with the return value of it. So, you have to note that main method will not return anything. That's why we are specifying it with the void. So, that is the use of void. So, let's move on to the next keyword that is main. It is the name of Java main method. It is the identifier that the JVM looks for as the starting point of the Java program. It is not a keyword. It's a, just a name. The next term is string args. It stores Java command line arguments and an array of type java.lang.string class. Here the name of the string array is args. But it is not fixed and user can use any name in place of it. Here it is an array of arguments and the name is args. And it's an array of string arguments. So we can use any kind of name here. Let's move on to the next slide. What happens if the main method is written without string arrays? Do you have any idea what will happen if the main method is written without string? When they ask us to explain Java main method, 
there will be so many questions related to that this kind of question is it possible to overload it is it possible to override it so let's go through all the related questions as well so let us see what happens if the main method is written without string arguments so the program will compile but not run because jvm will not recognize the main method so jvm always look for the main method with a string type array as parameter so there should be a method with the string type as array as parameter so in order to run that program so as mentioned here the program will compile but not run so let's move to the next slide the next question can main method be int if no why so let us see the answer java does not return int implicitly even if we declare return type of main as int we will get the compile time error so make sure to go through all these questions while going to the interview there are mainly three ways in which we can write the main method in java so let us see what are the three ways so you can see the three ways to declare the main method let's move on to the next slide can we overload the main method is it possible to overload the main method that's also a most frequently asked interview question so we can also overload the main method we can define any number of main method in the class but the method signature must be different that is overloading however if we observe when the code runs only the original definition of main that is public static void main will be executing which means we can create as many main methods as we want but the jvm will identify and execute only the main method which passing array of string as arguments so that is the difference let us move to the next slide here we have one program public class simple program here we can see public static void main integer argument so here we have one main method with integer arguments and here we have one main method with character arguments here we have one main method that is the exact one that is with the string arguments so let us see how we can run this one so as you can see i am in the online java compiler here i have copied the program so here we have one integer arguments and here char arguments and one array of string arguments so let us run the method and see what will happen if i mean in case of overloading so let us run this program main as it should be so it only invoke the original main method which is the method which is passing an array of arguments array of string arguments so the output is main as it should be so if we have to get the output from these two methods as well we have to call here in this way main with the first one is integer so let us call with the integer arguments and the next one is character so let us call with the character arguments and let us check the output yeah main as it should be so it is from main method and overloaded method one with the integer arguments and the next one is overloaded method one with char arguments so we got all the output from the three methods so the next question is can we override main method that is the last one topic related to main method so can we override main method it is not possible why because we cannot override the main method as it contains a keyword static so because static method cannot be overridden i already told that static method in java is associated with class and the non static method is associated with objects so we are not able to override the main method i hope it's clear to all of you that's all about today's session uh, if you have not subscribed my channel please care to subscribe for latest updates if you have any queries please feel free to comment in the comment section and thank you so much for watching see you in the next video